Hello everybody, it's me Scooter with Alabama Backyard Wrestling and to say the least, least, yesterday was a pretty crazy day and um, you're probably saying Scooter we saw where you had some technical difficulties hooking up there. Yes we did and um, after that last video ended what we did was we started at the back of the vehicle and we worked all the way to the front and we did a few changes to the um, to the electrical stuff and but we did get it fixed and yes we're going to show you how we did get it fixed um we're doing this episode this part of the video inside the house because we're going to explain it and then we're going to actually go out there and show you what we did and um we did discover another difficulty when we were uh hooking up all this stuff um stuff and we will also get into that um but yeah, pretty much we went through the back and we went through the whole entire front and we eventually got it all fixed. Fixed, fixed, but I had to go on Amazon. You're probably thinking, there he goes again, he's advertising for Amazon. Y'all, it's just that I don't like going to these other retail stores because a lot of times, 99.7% like the coronavirus, they don't have it. Or you're not going to get it. But anyway, I went to Amazon and I ordered what I needed. And it will be in here a few days, probably two days, I'm hoping. And um, we can fix the problem, the only problem that we had left. And the other problem was my radio only had one pair of RCA jacks in the back, the RC plugins that you run. So we're going to have to, we came up with an accommodating um, thing because, see, we were only getting one signal. Let's say that you have an amp and it has three RCA plugs in. Like, let's say you got one that has two in this one and one in this one. Well, your radio better have three RCA jacks or you're going to have to come up with a compromise like we did. Like, ours only had one. And um, we got an amp that has one, two. Our black one has two. And then our crush has one. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get some RCA plugs. We got some RCA plugs, red and white, you plug them into the back, and then it'll have two more sets that you can plug other RCA wires into, and it'll send the signal from the radio, and it'll go right into the amp, and then it goes out. So, that's what we're going to have to do, and I'm waiting for the, um, the part to get here. Like I said, it'll probably be here the 20th or 21st. We're hoping and praying. If FedEx don't deliver it, that is, because Lord knows they just, I don't know what's going on with them. They're really backed up or something. I don't know, but, um, yeah, everybody, as you can see, we also have another project going. It's the fish tank. And, um, we just got a lot of projects going on right now in my life. And, we're scattered everywhere and we're trying to get everything done and um i went yesterday and bought some of the the rock for it it's blue and it looks really neat underneath the um underneath the black light now these new fish aquariums a lot of you might remember the older ones versus the newer ones the older ones they were mostly just squared and they had a little single bug now they're putting these led blue lights in it and i have one of those background stickers it's a cave and um i'm still trying to find something for it i'm looking i'm trying to find a, a a big old um ufo one to stick in there somebody said skeeter why don't you not stick a pirate ship what no i don't want a pirate ship when was the last time you seen a pirate ship in a cave or Anything like that. I want a big old giant UFO one. And if you know anybody that makes these little fish tank decorations, if they can make me one and send it to me, that would be awesome. Because I I can't find them. I need a big old UFO decoration that I can stick in this tank. And I will eventually find one, but it's just taking time. So and I'm going to get the decorations in there, and then I'm going to put me some like three or four fish in there and I'm gonna make sure I got me some of those algae 
eater thing so that I'm probably only going to need one and um, that way it'll keep the tank clean for me because I'm not cleaning the tank. Uh-uh. That's one thing. No. Cleaning these fish tanks are a pain in the butt because I remember my sister had one. And she had to clean them. I'm not. I'm not cleaning a fish tank. Uh huh. I, that's. I seen all the headaches and cussing and no. I got a filter on that thing. I'll get a fishy in there. Like I said, all we gotta do next is get a decoration to put in there. A pretty big decoration, and then I'm gonna put the fish in because the fish are gonna be last. I'm not putting nothing in it until I. Uh, I like it the way it is. Now back to the car. Um, we, um, I would go out there and show you, but you probably don't, you probably already know what I'm talking about by the, um, by the way I describe it, but yeah, everybody, it's got power, and like I said, we got these wires, or it's got red, white, and yellow, we'll just plug the red and white into the radio, and then it has a female that you can plug into, they have... Red, white, and yellow, red, white, and yellow. And um, let me see if I'm, hold on, maybe this will help y'all. I understand, because I can do this. And, I'm, and once I show this to you, a lot of you will go, oh, okay, I know what he's talking about now. And I hate my phone, it's acting crazy. Here is some deep. Okay. I'm gonna see. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna show you what this looks like, okay? That's what uh we had to order. Right there. You see that? That's what we had to order. And, uh, it should be here in a few days. Um, I wish I could have found another one that had another set of red and whites, but, um, they didn't. But, yeah, everybody, um, uh, whenever this thing gets here and we get it plugged into the back of the radio and we get the other sets of the RCA wires plugged in, then, yeah, but, um, the one going to the, um, we're gonna um, probably, we're gonna plug those in, plug those in, and we're, then we're just gonna run them underneath the seats and we're gonna go through there and then we're gonna plug them into the back of the, of the thing I just showed you. And then both amps should be going, they'll both be getting a signal, uh, and then all three of my big speakers in the trunk should work. So that's where we're at, y'all. And um, like I said, it took me a while to make this video because I had I just had to clean up the house, y'all. Um, I had to sweep the floors, clean the bathrooms, and do all that because it, it needed to be done badly. And um, I threw away a lot of junk that also was in here that we didn't need. I got rid of that. Um, um, as soon as I end this video, I got to throw my clothes in the washing machine and, um, and I'll... But I just wanted to finish up the video and also let you know um, the ground's still wet from where it uh, it rained yesterday. So we're waiting for that to dry up as well. And um, I know I said we were going to go out there, but I pretty much explained it. But you're probably thinking, Scooter, um, you didn't explain what was the problem. Well, um, the fuse blew. Pretty much, you got to the amp wire it goes from your battery and it goes and then there's a little fuse thing and then it goes to the power source it goes through the rest of the wire and it hits the amp well guess what that fuse blew i mean it was toast so i cut the wires and i went and got something i, I twisted it clamped it twist clamp and now it's fixed and I threw that old hunk of crap in the garbage. So now it's just a straight wire. They said you're supposed to have a fuse, but 
the only thing the feud does is keep you from hearing the amp sound, the the juice coming from the battery into the uh, fan. But it doesn't matter to me, me because I'm not in my car usually that much. But yeah, everybody, the both amps do have juice now, and um, all we did, and we took the splitter off because, as you remember in our last video, it went and it went to the splitter. Well. The splitter made it where there was just, there was crumpled of wires everywhere because of that splitter. So I said, you know what, I don't want 800 wires underneath this thing. So I removed the splitter and threw that in the garbage. And I, uh, I twisted those things and I put a little plug, plug on the end and I plugged it in. And then the other power source going from that out, I just stripped it, tangled it up, and I pushed them both in to the power and I tied it down so it goes whoop and then the power goes whoop and then the remote wire from the crunch we went, we tied it, twisted, tied it, two remote wires, one goes in from the back of the radio, we tied that one together with the other one, boop, and the remote, yeah, but um, we got them both grounded, and um so it's all good but yeah y'all um like i said we're gonna uh go into more details about all of this like like we're gonna do another video about this we're gonna show you everything we did there's no point in do it now because if you don't understand what i'm saying then just go and talk to any car audio guy he'll probably can explain it to you a lot better than i can because i suck at giving i mean it i in my head I know how to do it, but when I'm trying to explain the people how to do it, it don't usually come out too good. That probably explains why I give people directions and they get lost, but anyway, and I'm very bad about giving directions. Like, it's all up here in my head. I know how to get places, but don't ask me how to tell somebody else how to get there because for the life of me, I couldn't. But yeah, everybody, on that bombshell, we hope you're having a good day. Hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow, Wait, tomorrow. Tomorrow, y'all. Um, I gotta take Miss Susan to the uh, hospital. She's having some kind of surgery thing. So, I'm gonna be taking care of her most of the day, Wednesday. So, um, she's gonna have a tube put down her throat for some kind of test. I said, oh, God, just call Dr. Comfort. If they had to do that to me, they would literally have to probably just pump me over the head about 20 times because I would not be okay with anybody sticking nothing down my throat unless it's a food item or a dead cow or a hamburger but yeah everybody on that bomb show we're going to end this video now please keep subscribing and please keep watching our videos and if you want to show your support you can click on the link in the description and on that bomb show everybody good night until our next video